What's up, everybody? It's Spare with a gun here from Energy Sleepless. No. From Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, I was starting to break this ship down while my driller drone was tearing apart the other ship. Now, it's docked over here. It actually flew past me a minute ago. I was having a little bit of a race kind of thing. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could get this done before it could get that other ship taken apart. Now, I don't know entirely why it's not left yet, though. That's one thing I want to see. Um, for two reasons. One, I want to make sure the script's running right. Uh, job active. I can barely read that from that distance. I really didn't put that in a good spot, did I? Job active. Ready to dock. Battery. It's charging, it looks like. Oh, state charge batteries. Okay, so it's got to charge back up, I guess. Aha! Well, I'm winning then. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to make sure that was running because I, I had it running um, when I left off, basically. It was like in the middle of doing stuff. And so I didn't really know how the script would behave. I didn't know if it would be able to handle basically rebooting in the middle of um, uh, of starting up the, the game, essentially, or if it was something that you had to go restart again. So we'll see. Though I'm, I'm kind of concerned or confused a little bit. I might need to tweak the settings uh, because if it's set to recharge the batteries and they're at 75%, I'm kind of like, why? You've got plenty of, you got plenty of power. So I don't really know why it's set up that way, exactly. Um, but one thing I also thought of is I could apply the same script, essentially. Um, I've got to modify it with the sensors, LCD screens, and so on. Uh, but I could modify the driller to have the same... Why is this thrust... Why are these thrusters on? It's just a waste of power. What is, what is going on? Those shouldn't be on. Um, actually, hold on. Are the batteries set to off? Ah, those should be recharging. Apparently, I did not uh, properly turn this ship off the last time I landed. Gyroscopes are even on. What was I doing? Alright, anyway. Um, but the one thing that I also noticed this is missing for a driller ship is an ore detector. That doesn't really work very well without an ore detector, does it? So I'll need to modify this slightly. Um, well, at least I don't think it has an ore detector on it anywhere. I'm going to... I don't think there's really a, a direction for that. We're just going to do it like that. Um, but yeah, so add the ore detector. And let's see, where do I need detector components? I don't use these very often. There they are. Let me just grab those. Uh, because I realize this ship's kind of just sitting here. So I think what I might do is whatever I need to modify it, kind of like I did this guy. Now, the only thing is, I probably will need to set this the same way. I had to do something. It's been a little bit. I had to do something with a sorter, I think. Yeah, there it is. And I think I future-proofed it in a way that it's not currently hooked up correctly, but it wouldn't take much modification. Um, so we'll set up this um, connector to be another um, input and we'll set that for the driller. And then, let's actually see if, um... Let's actually see if we can't find something. I don't know if I, if it'll read it from up here or not. Um, do I need the antenna on? I think I need the antenna on. I'm not really sure. I, I honestly don't do a lot with ore detectors, so I don't... I don't really remember. 25 meters max range. Broadcast using antenna. 
I know it takes more power to go up higher. Oh, there's something. That's 20 meters. That should have picked it up before then, I would have thought. Alright, and we'll go ahead and add the ore detector here. So... Oh, wait, no, 20 meters is my horizon thing. That's not the same. Never mind. So I don't apparently have any ore around here, or at least not by that calculation. Um, so I'll probably finagle with this a little bit. How's, how's our, how's our guy doing over here? Charge batteries. Oh, wait, last ship too heavy. Why isn't it unloading? Oi. Okay. Keep having to finagle with this thing. Alrighty, so good news and bad news. The good news is I managed to get our uh, fighter prototype thing completely uh, demolished. The bad news is this guy keeps coming back even though I keep resetting him and the only thing I'm noticing is it keeps coming back damaged. Um, and I don't know why other than the only thing I can think of is that essentially this conveyor connector setup over here is sticking out too far and the ship's trying to move forward when it can't and it's causing it to be damaged. It's the only thing I can think of because it's not exactly like there's anything hostile attacking it. Um, also it keeps coming back saying too heavy which is really annoying because it's empty so how is it too heavy? <sighs> um, so yeah this poses a bit of a dilemma because I don't really have a good way to alter the structure of this in a manner that will allow me to fix this issue with the conveyor or connector down here. Um, so this is a bit of a problem because yeah uh, apparently these grinders do not cover this space down here, nor does the script know not to go any further. So that's going to be a bit of an issue because, like I said, every time it's come back it keeps saying it's damaged and stuff. One time it even came back without the, um... Yeah, and then it does this. This is so super annoying that it says too heavy. It's not too heavy. There's nothing on the ship. So how is it possibly too heavy? And I get this weird, like, I, I don't really know what's going on, to be honest, because if I look in the spectator mode, my thrusters are all on, but yet, as you can see, in the, um, the hotbar down here, they're set to off. So I don't know what is happening and why it's picking up the wrong group, apparently, because it should only have solar rotors. It should only have, unless it's grabbing all of them? I don't know. But it's getting very confused. Um, yeah, see, like, I turned my gyroscope scope off or on, then when I undocked, now it's off. It's like, I, I, no, that's not... And it's probably because I have two groups with the same name, which is probably the issue. Um, so I'm going to try and rename these and see if maybe we get a little bit less confusion going on. Alrighty, so I've got this reconfigured to where now everything in here is labeled Utility Drone. So maybe that will help things be a little less confusing, one might hope. Um, Alright, so we'll turn that on... Oh, actually, I don't want to do that. There we go. Now, uh, let's see. Is this one? Continue. There we go. Yeah, it gets very confused for some reason. And I'll probably do the same thing on this one and label it Driller. Um, so that's my utility one. But as you can see, I thought... Because for those of you that may not be aware... Should be apparent at this point. Uh, but the Driller, like... The, the drills have kind of a, a space around them 
that they cover and I thought the grinders did too but I don't think they do and it looks like I'm gonna get rid of this manually because I think maybe it's getting hung up on something I don't know it's doing okay but now there's nothing here so it's weird it's like it's getting through the stuff but then it comes back damaged and I don't really understand like that See, I, it's getting hung up on stuff, and I don't think it even knows why. It's just stuck. And that doesn't help. Dude, drive, know where you're driving. Yeah, it can't figure out the... It can't figure out that bottom section is what's going on, I think. Yeah, damage detected. So, that's the problem. I just don't really know how to fix it, to be honest, because this is kind of a fundamental design in the way I have the ship set up, and I'd have to modify this a lot. Um, so the biggest thing is I would need to move these bottom thrusters... Let's see, did it hit anything over here? No. For now, I'm just gonna tell it to go back. I'm not gonna tell it to resume. Um, fly to home position. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it fly back because I need to figure out a way. Now, I think according to the way the script works, I think the connector has to stay in that direction. So, I don't think I can really change that. This is kind of cool, though. It kind of feels like I'm on autopilot. Um, I'm wondering if I take that bottom uh, conveyor tube out. I wonder if that will... I don't know if this will... If fly back to home, will it auto... I guess it auto-connects. Huh. Yeah, it does. Okay. Now, here's the ultimate test. I turn these off and I set this to recharge. Everything seems okay on this end. Now let's check this guy over here. These are still off. Okay, so that might have minimized some of the confusion. So what I'm thinking, it's not going to be pretty and it's not really ideal. Um, but what I'm thinking is to do essentially like removing this guy right here and bringing it or not maybe maybe not removing well yeah I'll have to I'll have to remove it and make a another um, one of these junctions and then maybe go back to tubes and bring it around the back here and then have the but it still comes down so I don't like that but I may not have a choice just because it seems very finicky about what it's wanting to do the only other option is to bring another grinder down here, but I don't think that'll work because these are three blocks tall and this is only two, so it would change the whole height profile. I'd have to put a spacer in there, I guess, which I could do, I suppose. Wouldn't be the worst thing. But then I'd have to figure out how to get a conveyor to run over to the bottom section here without being super weird. Um... Yeah, it's just, it doesn't work. Like, I designed it to be this way, and it worked manually, but on autopilot, it's not, it's not working right. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out. That's gonna be fun. Uh, let's see, um, I don't know, I'm gonna work on this, I think, because I do kind of want it to get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it work. Uh, first, I'm going to empty out all this crap that I got. Alright, so let me tinker with this for a minute and see what I can come up with. Alrighty, so... I've modified this, and it looks derpy as all get out, but I think it actually works. Um, so the biggest thing was, obviously, I removed the... Um, whatchamacallit, the connectors, the thrusters, all that stuff so that the lowest point 
would be the grinders, essentially. And if eventually I might end up changing those welders to be grinders too. I'm not really sure. It just depends on if I keep running into issues. So it's not the prettiest way of doing this at all, and it's probably not even the most efficient, to be honest, but it worked out okay. Uh, the most derpy thing is this thruster array up here. Um, I put the forward ones in the back and the reverse ones up top so they wouldn't basically hit anything. And then I moved the left and rights up, up underneath the reverse so that, again, the forward ones wouldn't hit anything. Um, the other thing was I noticed that the vertical wasn't enough, so I added two more verticals on the back here uh, instead of that four cell. And it works, it's just not all that wonderful. Um, and it's also somewhat difficult to get this to, to dock, but I do have it docked and it does work. Um, now I don't know if we'll end up getting damage on the landing pad or not, but we'll see. Now the only thing is I'll probably have to set up a new job for this because, yeah, um, the path is different, the location spot's different, etc. and so on. Um, so I don't know how to actually, oh, grind, set up grind job, there we go. So first, let's record a path. So stop recording, use old home, use old path. All right, now I don't know if it'll record the controls I'm doing of like turning this on and off or if it does it automatically or not, I'm not sure. Um, all right, so just for simplicity, let's just raise it up and go straight over. That way it doesn't have to do any turns or anything or whatnot. Uh, we'll bring it here. Once it finally stops itself, we'll turn it and we'll move it forward over to roughly about here, I think, would be a good spot. All right. Um, so stop path recording. And now, let's see, set up a job. Alright, why is my, uh, why is my sensor not on? I don't see the... Hmm, that's odd. I should be seeing the, the range. Oh, is it? Ah, there we go. Got it. Okay, new. <laughs> new. That's not gonna work. Um, bring it in. I can't tell. Does that cover everything? I think it's pretty close. Let's do. Let's do one more just to make sure. Um, and then height. I think I'm a little high to be honest, but I think this is gonna be one of the wait, is height length? No. Okay. Let's just uh Yeah, that ought to be good enough. Alright, and depth. Does that cover everything? Let's do one more. Alright, cool. So then start new. Alright, now, that should actually work a little bit better. Now, obviously, it'll have to go through the job again to figure out that it doesn't need to basically be where it's at, but at least now, it should, in theory, be able to deal with all of this. Alright, so I'm going to leave it to do its thing, and I think we're going to start working a little bit on our driller. Now, this I don't think will have the same issue because of the broader radius of the drills. Um, the connector never got hit before, neither did the thrusters on the side, so I think the driller should be okay. Um, 
what I need is a sensor, and I don't remember where that ended up on my hotbar. Ah, there it is. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out where this will actually fit, to be honest. Um, what do I need? Interior plates? I never have what I want. Ever. Alright, so I can't put a sensor there. I have to have it facing the right direction. Oh, I can put it there. Well, that's convenient. Alright, so we'll just slap that there. Oh, whatever. Like I said, I know I only grab one thing, but still. Never seem to have what I want. Um... I know I'm gonna need, what, radio components? Let's try that. That should be enough. I never remember what things cost, so I'm always just kind of... Oh, detector components as well. Whoops. Alrighty. Uh, we're, there they are. And... Detectors. Alright, cool. Now, I don't honestly remember the whole setup, so I may have to do one more pause. I'm not sure. Um, just to make sure, but we have a sensor, we have batteries, we have an antenna, we have a programmable block, I have a remote block, uh, we've got the thrusters and all that, and gyroscopes and whatnot. I don't remember, I know, this, this is the only thing, this is kind of inefficient for this, um, eh. ha, alright, it's kind of inefficient because I gave it such a big range, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I would have had to reset my path and stuff, so I just figured, eh, what not. So, our gyroscopes, um, I do have to tag them, though, that's the other thing. So the programmable, oh, the LCD screen, that's what I was missing. So, LCD, programmable block, um, remote control, and sensor. All of those are tagged with the PAM script thing, which I believe is, yeah, oh, it's brackets. I wasn't sure if it was parentheses or not. And I'm going to redo the naming, I think, of the, uh, the driller as well. So it's LCD, programmable block, sensor, and remote. That's what needs to be renamed with a, a PAM tag. I also have to modify the... I gotta remember to modify the um, connector and, and uh, thing down there as well. Alright, so... Yeah, let me, let me go ahead and do some, uh, some renaming here. Alrighty, so I have good news and bad news. The good news is um, that I think everything is working quite nicely on the driller, and I even found a very convenient place for um, the, whatchamacallit, uh, the LCD screen. I've renamed everything. I think everything's working pretty well. The only issue is... Apparently, according to this ore detector, within 50 meters, I have no ore. So I'm going to have to, like, di I don't know, dig down or something. I'm not really sure how I'm going to deal with that. But um, the other thing is I have yet to... Uh, where is it? There it is. I have yet to um, convert the connector over here, which is something that I'm going to do probably now. Uh, and so we can turn this stuff off now without too much issue. So as you can see, I've named everything Driller Drone, and I've got the uh, PAM script set up, and we've got our groups up here. So that should help us with further drones in the future as well. So there is that. Um, and so far, I think our new guy has done okay, but probably because I don't think he's actually gotten down to the ship yet, so <laughs> that's... <laughs> the good news is he hasn't, you know, destroyed anything yet. The bad news is he hasn't actually done anything of note. Uh, so there's that. Alright, now I gotta figure out how I did this before. Alright, so... Got the cargo container there. 
So I went down to a sorter and then another conveyor tube, or not tube, the junctions, and then came back up with a elbow, I guess. So if I were to break this one... Woo! Almost smacked my head on something. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so... There's that. Okay, so I would need to... Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Oh, that's tying into the rest of it, okay. So I moved the conveyor down one is what happened, I see. Now, I'm not sure how this is gonna work, to be honest. Uh... Because I think I ended up replacing this connector the last time I did this. Um, get, mm, I really do not like the collision detection in this, I gotta be honest. It does bug me significantly. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I think, redo this. Turn this back on and have this guy float for a second. Ooh, not me. Um, because I do think I'm gonna have to break this. Because, unfortunately, the way the, the uh, mounting points are... Oh, okay, that's the, that's the connection point to that. So did I move it over? No, didn't move this over. Go one block over. So it'd go elbow, elbow, conveyor. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did an elbow here. I get you now. All right, so I should have enough to at least place some of these things. So we have one there. And of course it won't let me rotate because it's stupid. I, I really... <laughs> Thank you. Stupid thing. Alright. Now. Interior plates, motors, small steel tubes, construction components. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So, interior plates, construction components, motors, small steel tubes. Grab a few... Nope, that's not what I meant. Actually meant uh, computers and some steel just for good measure. That should give us what we need, I think. Cool. All righty. So then we put. Where'd it go? We put the conveyor junction here. And then I'll need a sorter going down. Then we put the conveyor connector on top. In which case I can actually uh, reconnect the ship so it's not floating and wasting all of its power. Phew. I want to see if I can speed up the weld times, maybe. Alright, uh, okay. Turn this back on. Bring it down. Lock, off, off, charge. Cool. Alright, now what am I missing for this one? Small steel tubes and construction components for the most part. Let's just resupply a bit. Uh, 
Uh, now I'm also supposed to do something with the sorter, aren't I? Drain all set to on. And the last thing we need to do is... Really? Alright, is to connect up the conveyor system. So with that, our drone platform area over here is completely automated, essentially. The bigger thing now is, as I said, I'm going to end up having to look for or just tell it to drill. I could just tell it to go for it. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to try that. Might as well, right? So let's see. On, on, not charge, unlock, turn off. Cool. Uh, let's just go over... Oh, wait. Pfft. You dummy. I didn't set the home or anything for it. For doing all that. Alright. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, with this one. That I'm going to start with the gyros and all that off, just in case it actually records all of that. Um, yeah. Alright, so... We're recording our path, so we'll turn on, 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 and then turn this off, unlock, turn it off, fly up, turn it back on. Alright, cool. And let's go up a little ways just to give us some room. We're going to turn 180, I think, just because it'll keep it away from other things. Um, let's go out to this tree line over here, I think. Yeah, this looks like a pretty decent spot. Now, I do recall... We'll go past the trees, I guess. I do recall that uh, the last time I tried to go, like, straight up and down with this ship, it didn't go well. So, I'm not going to do that again. Um, I'm going to only do it at a little bit of an angle, I think. Alright, so that should be good. And then, stop. Now, let's set up a new mining job. Okay, and apparently I don't have something set correctly on the sensor. Oh, huh. I guess it's per ship. I didn't realize that. All right, um, I'd like this to be a bit wider and deep, but I don't really care if it's too tall. Oh, pff, wrong buttons. This is a different button sequence than the uh, the grinder. Let's do something like that. Okay, height. Let's go... Well... We can stand to go a little bit higher, I guess. And... Depth. Now this part I'd like to be actually a bit longer, because I think we're going to need to dig a bit deeper to get to um, the actual ores. And then what I'm going to do here is something that I saw them do in the tutorials of the video for the script, and that's just tilt it a little bit and then start. Alright, now I'm going to... Alright, now again, uh, it's a little bit higher than I probably should have started it at, but oh well. And uh, when it gets full, out of power, etc. Now we'll see in a minute if this uh, connector down here is going to cause us problems or not. I don't think it did before, uh, but we'll find out. This is so cool. I love being able to like stand out here and not, uh, not really do anything. This is really cool. Uh, 
the other reason that this will be good is because we'll probably get a lot of stone, which isn't great, but um, we may end up getting more materials and stuff on top of what our grinder is doing over there. So between the driller and the grinder, we'll have a decent uh, way of processing whatever, whether we find ore veins or capture other ships. So the next step will be um, to... I think once the... Yeah, see the... Um, oh, wow. That was a lag spike. See how the... Uh, what is happening? Why is the ground not disappearing? I mean, is it? Oh, there it goes. Alright, so our connector's not getting damaged by this, which is great. So that'll just go, and my grinder over there will just go. So I think we have a pretty good setup. And see, that's what I was talking about with the drills and the grinders, that the, the drills have a bit bigger buffer to them, uh, where they won't, they'll basically not get damaged by stuff, or they'll, they'll take out a bigger chunk of an area. Um... Why are you stopped? Or stuck, or whatever is happening right now? Ship stuck. What does it say? Oh, retrying. Oh, I guess it hadn't quite gotten a hold of something. Alright, so it's still, it's still going. It's 62% done. That's pretty cool. So I guess I got the angle slightly wrong and it's clipping a little bit of the edge here and there, but it does look like it's working. So, yeah. Um, I think when that one's done, I will probably use the grinder ship to um, build the fighter, and then we'll use the fighter to take on another ship thing and see if we can grind it down. Uh, the next project will probably be, um, I might need to do a repair project over here. I don't know why the, uh, the missile turrets keep targeting, it kept targeting this ship and blowing it up, even though it was set to be mine. I don't know why. Uh, but the next big project will probably be doing some kind of capital ship, I think, so we can start thinking of going into space. That's my idea. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.